Hello again, darlings. Scott Finns here. Let me just lower my... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Shooting another video with a different angle so that you think this is a different day, different situation, different wine bottle. Yeah. So this update is about my career update. So my real... Shall I be honest? No, not be honest. Honest is boring. So my update, this year, 2021, what did I do? I did a lot of stand-up, that was fun. Oh yeah, and I did, that was fun. And I'll do it, you know the, the, the moth joke? I hope you are watching, because I'm going to tell you the moth joke. Just fix my hair for the moth joke. Right, so the moth joke. Ah, the moth joke. Moth goes into a an office of a whatever engineer's office and the engineer goes hey what the fuck are you doing mr moth i'm an engineer why are you in my office the moth sits down and says well life is hard sometimes when you're a moth fuck moth it's hard to pronounce it's hard to pronounce my own species i'm a moth maybe if you can say I said, well, what's the problem being a moth? Well, being a moth is fucked. Because my wife doesn't love me anymore. Oh, yeah. She ran off with another moth. Jack the Moth. <laughs> Jack the Moth. Oh, I hate him, Jack the Moth. What an asshole. He is the proper asshole. He is the whole of an ass, that Jack the Moth. So Jack the Moth took my wife and they both fled. Left me with my five children. Mini moths. <laughs> mini moths. Mini moths. When I talk to them, hey, mini moth, I kind of, you know, spit on them. Because it's hard when you have mini moths for, for children. So she left me because she didn't love me anymore. I didn't take care of her. She ran off. Problem with my children is that they're moths. And they're not very clever. Can't read, can't write, can't do... F they fuck all, they're just... They're moths, you know. They're just, they have a bunch of legs. And wings. That's what... But where are you going to be in the world if you just have a bunch of legs and a bunch of wings? That's a good question. So, I'm... Um, it's a crossroads right now in my life. I don't know where to go. Shall I go to live in London? And take the subway? The underground? Shall I go to America and fight for my dreams and become a professional boxer or a literary agent? I'm a moth. I have options. <laughs> I have moths. Moth options. Yes, moth options. So in all my moth options, the, the engineer, because if you remember, we're still in the engineer's place. The engineer goes, well, do you have any skills or something again? Oh, shut up. You're an engineer. What the fuck do you know? Engineer. Oh, I'm an engineer. Filling up Excel sheets the whole day. Fuck you. Hey, you're being rude to me. I'm an engineer. I can engineer shit. Yeah, well, go and engineer your mama. Don't bring my mama into this engineering conversation, Mr. Moth. What do you mean, Mr. Moth? Yes, Mr. Moth, because I'm a polite engineer. I treat you as you deserve to be treated, Mr. Moth. Thank you, Mr. Engineer. Now, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> because I'm a moth. I'm a moth. Ah, oh, where was I? Interrupted me, you piece of shit, Engineer. Well, I'm so sorry, Mr. Moth. Didn't mean to disturb your narrative. Yeah. Maybe I'll be an accountant. So I have my moth ear that... So the moth had a ear canal wax problem. That smells... Ugh. Yeah. So the moth carries on this narrative, and uh, yeah, it was very hard. It was a long, long narrative, like f 15 minutes, until the moment comes where the moth sheds a tear, a tear moth, or a moth, a moth tear, a th tear moth, that the moth cries, because the moth is sensitive, you pricks. The moth is there crying, and the engineer gives her tissue, gives him a tissue. Here, Mr. Moth gives a tissue. The moth takes a tissue. 
I heard because it had the moth had mask mask mascara on, so it didn't want to. They just little cry. They do the moth do when they don't want to have ruined their makeup. They go like, oh. That's what they do, mouth. Thank you. He throws this up. Okay. But I'm an engineer. Why did you come to my office? You know, I. I'm an engineer. I can't help you. You should go and see a counselor. Why did you come in here? Well, I was passing in front of your office, and the light was on, so I just came in. <laughs> yes. Yes, Indy, death is the moth joke. Uh. So it's Norman MacDonald, who apparently was an asshole when he was alive, but now is not an asshole anymore. I wonder what happens to people's assholes when they die. When does the whole... This, this ceases being a hole and becomes a spludge of sploshed. Oh, it's very philosophical. Philosoph philosoph anyway. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Roman Macdonald. Because he was on Saturday Night Live or whatever Conan was, was on, the Conan program, and he had, oh, I never did stand up here. And he goes, oh, well, we have six minutes. And he said, fuck, I don't have a sketch. I don't have anything for six minutes. I don't have material. Help me. And they said, well, this is this other comedian. He tells the moth joke. The moth joke goes into a uh, podontological office, and the guy goes, well, what are you doing here? And the moth goes, well, I saw the light, I came in. So, yeah, so McDonald's, he goes, he starts telling the, the story of the brother, the Karamazov brothers by Dostoevsky, and he starts telling, oh, my two sons, uh, Olyoshka and whatever, and I don't love one of them and all that shit. And it's like anti-comedy, and it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's fucking brilliant. But then when I found out that someone else had done it, I said, well, this is not stealing. It's just having the idea. So I did it on stage. And my moth went into a, uh, you know, people who clean your feet and remove your ingrown testicles from your feet because they're very deeply ingrown. And, uh, <laughs> and my story was Harry Potter. Like, oh, I live under a cupboard... Uh, I live in a cupboard under the stairs, and I go to this weird school, <laughs> and I go, hey, director, maybe you can find this, if you speak French, you can find this little passage, and you can stick it in here. So, and this platform nine and three quarters, that I don't say it, because the, the, good I, the good thing about this joke is to not say, like, the analogy story you are going to use, because that let the audience... Like like I did with you. Of course, you got all the references because you're very clever. Uh, you get let the audience guess you're talking about Harry Potter. So I said, well, and there's my friend. One is a redhead. The other one is I jack off to her and all that. Sorry, sorry. Don't remove that. Anyway, uh, so they, they were following on that it was Harry Potter. And then five minutes later, and I say, <laughs> I did the, delivered the punchline. I saw the light and I came in. They felt betrayed. <laughs> They're like... Really? That is your fucking joke, you piece of shit comedian. So I had a nice time doing that joke. And they had a nice time, whatever, or not. Anyway, goodbye, darlings.